I'm Alice Albert and today I'm going to make one of my all-time favorite comfort foods, traditional Taiwanese water dumplings. Now to make these dumplings, you'll need a pound of ground pork, sea salt, Chinese Napa cabbage, and two to three scallions, as well as Chinese dumpling wrappers, which you get, can get at any Asian grocery store. A finger bowl of water and for the sauce that we'll need later some black sesame oil some low sodium soy sauce and black vinegar now to make the meat filling we're gonna chop up the scallions pretty fine so that you can mix it into the ground pork to give it some flavor. Now I used to make these with my mom. It was one of the few things she would let me help with and they were always delicious and gone in 20 seconds. So the more people to help the better. So we'll go ahead and put these scallions into the bowl with the ground pork. And with, to that, we'll add some pre-washed, dried, and chopped Chinese Napa cabbage. About two cups. And a little bit of salt, because you don't want too much salt. Because later on, we'll be dipping it in soy sauce. So just a little bit. And also, maybe about a tablespoon of black sesame oil. That looks good. Now I find that the best way to mix this up is just to use your clean bare hands. And just go in there and mix it all up so that everything is well mixed. And you want to get all the tasty flavors blended in. I can already smell the black sesame oil. Now once you have that thoroughly mixed, then you can start to wrap your dumplings with the wrapper and I'll show you how to do that here so you want to just put a mound of the meat filling into the center of the wrapper And you want to wet the edge of it with water so that you can seal it. Now, you don't want the mound too large because then you won't be able to crimp it and it will open up in the water. So go ahead and press the center together and then working from the right, you want to fold towards the center until it's crimped all the way to the edges and do the same thing on the other side. See, don't worry if there's meat particles on the outside, they'll just float away in the water. Let's do another one. So, here's a, another number two here. See, this is why you need lots of helpers. Because it takes a while to make these dumplings. Sometimes I'll let the meat mixture sit in the fridge for overnight. That seems to make the flavors melt even better. So here I've got some dumplings ready to go into the boiling water. So let's go ahead and put them in. So what you want to do is let the water come to a boil and then you'll drop the dumplings in one at a time, being careful not to overcrowd them so they don't stick to each other. So I put about 8 to 10 in at a time. Now while those are cooking, you want to check on them and just kind of give it a swirl so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And once they float to the top in about 10 minutes, then you're, they're ready to eat. Here we have some dumplings that have floated to the top. So we can go ahead and plate these. Here we'll put them in a bamboo steamer as a 
serving tray. I think I'll serve these up as an appetizer. So you, this is a really handy utensil to have. It's just a wire Chinese soup ladle, dumpling ladle, and that'll help you scoop them up. And then you can just place them in a circular pattern like so. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to make the sauce for dipping the dumplings. Okay, so to make the sauce, you want a couple tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. And to that, you'll add a couple drops of black sesame oil. And a splash of black vinegar. And there you have it. Pretty simple. I put that in the center and it's ready to be eaten. Bon appetit!